Hi YouTube, how are you all doing? My name is Lee, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about how you can calm redness on your face. Now I used to have rosacea in the past, and so having flare up, having redness on my skin was quite often. So I use these tips and tricks on helping to calm those redness and fight against those flaring up on my skin. I will be sharing four tips on how we can calm those redness. And I've used these tricks or products on my husband as well. And I can see immediate result overnight. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm a skincare junkie. I love testing different skincare products. So I make videos or share my tips and tricks, what I've learned in the past and what works for me and what doesn't work for me. If you're interested to know more how you can perfect your skin, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the new video. Tip number one, you've got to find out what is it that triggered the redness. Now redness can come from because of rosacea, the flaring up, or could cause by some kind of allergic reaction to something that you've used on your skin, new product possibly, or um, if you have gone under the sun for a while and you haven't reapplied any kind of sunscreen so that it becomes red. So if your skin is experiencing any kind of itching or burning sensation, I'm sorry this video is not for you because you need to go see a doctor. I'm not trying to give you any kind of diagnosis here, I'm just sharing what how I used to calm down those redness as a result of my rosacea. So, if it is itching and burning, go see a doctor. However, if it is just a mild redness as a result of, for example, rosacea flaring up, or as a result of just your skin is just a little not happy after the sun, so these tips and tricks will be useful for you. And I've used these tricks on my rosacea skin as well. Tip number two, your skincare routine needs to go back to the basic, everything basic. When your skin is flaring up or having redness, Basically, your skin is telling you it is not happy. So you gotta give it extra care. And whatever nonsense that you've introduced into your skincare routine, you need to put that aside. And if you can locate what is it, what is it that you trigger the redness, it's good. Um, then you can stop using that particular product. Otherwise, streamline everything and just go back to just a simple cleanser, a hydrating serum or calming soothing serum, and then a moisturizer and in the morning, make sure you put on sunscreen. Now let's talk about what particular product you can use for each step. So for cleanser, if your skin is angry and flared up, you can now only use some really gentle, simple cleanser that's fragrance-free, that's alcohol-free, that's essential oil-free. Basically, anything that you use in your skincare routine needs to match those three requirements. So then there is no potential trigger that can further flaring up your skin. I remember when my skin was a bit angry, like still very angry and upset, uh, flaring up. I remember I tried to use a new product that has a bit of fragrance in it and my skin did not, oh my God, did not like it at all. Um, and so really, really just keep it simple. So you can use any kind of cleansing milk or anything that's gentle. So the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser would be an option. This one from La Roche Posay, the hydrating face wash is fantastic as well. And also this one, Thermoquest, the Delicate Facial Wash. So basically you wanted to look for products that is just very gentle. It helps to remove some of the oil and sebum that got built up during the day and that's it. There's no aggressive acne fighting salicylic acid kind of cleanser. No foam cleanser because it will further dry out your skin. So only stick to very gentle cleanser. And then the second one would be serum. It really depends on your skin condition at that time. If your skin is drying out, having peeling situation on your own skin, try to look for products that has both soothing as well as hydrating your skin. I have reviewed um, quite a number of products that's very soothing for your skin, such as the I'm From Rice Toner as well as the Mugworth Toner. So those two products is fantastic for any kind of sensitive skin or face with redness. So it can definitely give you that hydration without further irritating your skin. I remember I tried to use some hyaluronic acid serum when my face was just very red and it didn't work for my skin. So try to go for some products that has hydrating effect, like the rice toner from I'm From, um, and it's easy for you to, for your skin to 
absorb it's not irritating at all at all ha serum is definitely a no but other kind of serums that has the centelica asiatica it would be good and okay to use we want to make sure that it matches the three criteria essential oil free alcohol free and fragrance free and for me the kind of serum that i use apart from looking for ingredients like sika or mugworth i use a serum that could restore my skin barrier this product really really blew me away and it really helped rebuild my skin barrier because the red why your skin is having redness is because it's impaired apart from looking for that particular ingredients i use the osmosis rescue epidermal repair serum now i've talked about this product in another video in depth so you may check that video out that's the product that my husband used and um, it helped his skin to basically calm down the redness overnight this is something that i needed to put um, into my skincare routine if my skin is just having not a very great day and if it is not for this particular brand there are a lot of other uh, skincare brands that carries products that could help repair your skin barrier now i have another one from another brand that one is slightly in a different formulation you can use that right after the moisturizer so i'm gonna put that product here that one is not as quick as this one that one is good too uh, the skin barrier repair but i personally would prefer the osmosis one because this really really helped to quickly repair your impaired skin barrier that's the only two that I've used um, but if you can find any kind of product that can repair your skin barrier it's great and then the final step is moisturizer now again you can only streamline to really basic moisturizer fragrance free alcohol free essential oil free so I would only stick to the CeraVe moisturizing cream it's hydrating give me that uh, lid to prevent any trans epidermal water loss because your skin barrier is impaired and your moisture tend to just evaporate from your skin so having good moisturizer is important so the CeraVe one or the Dr. Jab one or the green one um, I'm a bit mixed with this the Dr. Jab one because it does come with fragrance i remember there were times that i have used the dr jack one that it really didn't do much for my skin but there are also times when my skin was okay with it if you already have that product give that product a try otherwise go for the CeraVe moisturizing cream it is easy to get it's much cheaper the CeraVe one is gonna repair your ceramide give you ceramide ceramide is also a perfect ingredients to repair your skin barrier now another product that i also use and tried is the la roche posay secret blast b5 now this product has panthenol panthenol is a provitamin b5 it helps to hydrate your skin it also has the centella asiatica that i've talked about this particular ingredient helps to calm and soothe your skin is it's like a balm it kind of protect your skin this is the product that i gave my husband to use basically he used these two products and the redness just kind of like goes away overnight quite pretty much it's just non-existence anymore i would definitely recommend the combination of this two however if you don't already have this you can look for other alternatives and then the last one is make sure you put on sunscreen if your skin is red and not happy and become very sensitive go for physical sunscreen so sunscreen that has titanium dioxide or iron oxide no chemical filters no chemical sunscreen because some of the chemical sunscreen you would just worsen the redness on your skin i've tried this myself my skin was just not happy with for example the event the orange line when my skin was irritated i just couldn't take that particular sunscreen try to go for physical sunscreen and the last tip is please do not use any kind of acids on your skin whether it's aha or bha or even pha please stop that do not use any kind of vitamin a either on your skin as well because your skin needs to repair itself before you can apply those ingredients as well or normal pe peeling you know you need to stop and if your skin is really really dry and you need to have that extra hydration you can put on a face mask however when you're looking for a face mask it's very important that it's essential oil free alcohol free as well as fragrance free now a lot of the skincare products in the market especially face masks are fragranced so i would only go for this particular brand it's not a very great face mask um, i mean you know if my skin was perfectly fine i would just go for a more hydrating 
mask, but this product is recommended by my dermatologist at that time and I really love it when I was my skin was just not happy. So if you need that particular extra hydration, um, you can go for this particular brand. Just go for the normal basic hydrating one, the blue box one, the blue box one, um, nothing fancy. You'll immediately see when your skin is hydrated, it kind of also counteract with the redness on your skin. Feel free to tell me what other products that you have used in the past that also help calm down redness on your skin. I'm very interested to know what you guys are using that I have not mentioned and I have not tried it myself. Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed what I've shared today, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye!